My shirt may or may not say taco me out. I have no regrets in life. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ruby and today I have an Ask Ruby Q&A video for you guys. If you all would like to be featured in my next Q&A video, go ahead and click on the links down below to give me a follow on my Instagram and Twitter. Those are pretty much the only two places that I ever ask for questions. But until that next Q&A, let's just get started with the questions in this one. Will you ever come to Romania? I really hope so. I mean, one of my favorite things in the world is traveling. So, I mean, as of like right now, no, I don't have any plans of going to Romania, but it sounds super fun. Who is your favorite artist? This is just one of those answers that will never change for me and my favorite artist hands down is Billy Joel. What's your favorite Broadway show that you've seen? If you guys don't know, I do live in New York part time and I'm moving there permanently in May. So I have seen a lot of Broadway shows, but recently I saw Dear Evan Hansen after months of waiting and waiting and waiting and I absolutely loved it. I have now made it a goal of mine to not only be in that show one day, but also to see it about 50 more times because it literally just made me cry the entire time. It was beautiful. If you all have the chance to go, I highly encourage you to take advantage because that show will change your life. What is your biggest fear in life? I know I definitely talked about this in my video titled My Fears, which if you all want to check that out, I made an entire video kind of dedicated to the things that scare me in life, both on the more humorous side and then also on the more serious side as well. But for me, I guess one of my biggest fears is definitely not being able to accomplish everything I want to in life. I'm a very driven person and so sometimes, you know, I have all these goals and I just want to make sure that I am able to accomplish them in my lifetime. How old were you when you did your first play? For those who don't already know, I am an actress and I have been auditioning since I was about four years old. I believe I booked my first show when I was six. Um, it was a show in my home state and I played an elf. It was kind of like an industrial show, a show for a business, but it was done around Christmas time, so I was an elf and basically what I'm saying is I peaked when I was six years old. But before that, I had also been in a music video and I had been performing in lots of other places before that. However, that was my first kind of theater job on stage that I booked and got paid for. Top dream roles and show ideas you are writing, if you are writing anything at all. Um, my top show roles, just to name a few, are Eponine in Les Mis, Zoe in Dear Evan Hansen, Elphaba in Wicked, Catherine or Leading Player in Pippin. As for any shows that I'm writing, I'm currently in the process of actually finishing up my first one act play. I write songs constantly, so I'd really like to write a musical one day, but that seems like a very, very big thing to kind of go into, so I want to wait until I've gained a little bit more knowledge and experience, but right now I'm actually currently in the process of finishing up my first one act. What drives slash motivates you in life? I hope that this answer comes across as clear and as honest as it is in my head, but honestly what motivates me is just my love for what I do. I get a lot of questions about what motivates me to continue auditioning or what motivates me to keep going after being told no or what motivates me to kind of continue to try and break into the entertainment industry and honestly it's just what excites me in the morning. There's nothing that I would rather be doing with my life. A lot of people have a backup plan and that's great but for me there is no backup plan and that is what motivates me every single day. Top 5 records in your vinyl collection. So if you all want to see a video on my full vinyl collection again you can go back on my channel but um, really I think anything by Billy Joel is like definitely hands down my favorite like thing on vinyl that I own. Are you ready slash excited for prom? So my prom is actually in May and I mean yeah I guess I'm excited. I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna go this year actually which is really crazy because like it's my senior prom but I might actually have something going on that day and I won't know for like a few more weeks but I mean yeah I guess like I'm excited. I always like any excuse to dress up but if I can't go this year like I'm also okay with that too. Also I don't know if all my friends are going this year so if my friends aren't going I don't know if I want to go so so we'll see favorite slash least favorite middle school memories <laughs> honestly this answer might sound a little harsh but it's very honest and I try and be honest with you guys on this channel um, my favorite memory from middle school was graduating and my least favorite memory was kind of everything else in between middle school was just a really hard time for me that I would never ever ever want to relive not even if somebody paid me a million dollars um so it was, it was just a bit of a hard time I mean there were some good memories but kind of the, the bad outweighed the good in those years so definitely my favorite memory was being able to move on <laughs> what is your favorite type of music 
I am honestly one of those people that I listen to everything, everything pretty much except for rap and heavy metal. I really do listen to everything. I love alternative rock, I love indie music, I love musical theater music. But if you were to just kind of flip through my music library and like put my phone on shuffle, you would usually hear musical theater songs and alternative rock. My friend Cameron asks, will you marry me? <laughs> Honestly, Cameron, I'm not even talking to you until we finally film a video collab together because like we still have to do that. Who's your favorite cast member in your show? <laughs> If you guys don't know, um, so for my senior thesis, I am actually directing a show and my friend Juan just asked that question. He's actually in the show. Of course, Juan, I love you very, very much, but I can't pick a favorite cast member because that would be cruel and that would be so incredibly wrong of me as the director, but thank you for your question. But with that ends my Ask Ruby Q&A video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big, huge thumbs up to let me know that you would like to see both more of me and more Q&A videos on this channel. Please subscribe and help me grow the Ruby Rocks the World family. It would mean the absolute world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys!